<laughs> TV show? Um. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go with Dollhouse. That time it got reincarnated as a slime. <laughs> Set actually into a TV, though. TV show now. Yeah. Actually, okay. really good, too. I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, it's just like, hey. Bailey? Uh, pick Aki Khan. I'm going to pick Bojack Horseman. <clears throat> Alright. Bojack. Players decided based on how sick it would be if Kanye West made the it opening. It wouldn't be that far from Bojack. <laughs> I'm last. It's <laughs> Kanye <laughs> West. I, I am last. <laughs> oh, man. What was your Skyler? You... Uh, mine was Dollhouse. If you haven't, I don't know. It's it's a um. Wow, I've forgotten his name. Uh, Joss Whedon show is that the one? Yeah, Joss Whedon. Would it's you good. would you think it'd be sick if Kanye West made the opening theme for it? Um, I think probably makes more sense for BoJack Horseman. Yeah, I'm definitely sure Bailey comes first in this. Yay. <clears throat> Can't wait to listen to my hot new anime with vocals by Kanye West. <laughs> Let's do this! I mean, you gotta oh. say, that'd be pretty weird and people would probably at least look at it. While there is Zoe, there's also Ghost Looker. Go Who are you? I'm pretty sure that's someone Cards covered in hair. One. I mean... Oh, that is a good <gasps> shirt. Oh my god. Both of them. Uh, the art direction in this game is great. It's not like Zoe and Miranda aren't always the perkiest of gals, but they seem extra perky that they skitter around writing things in the notebooks. Doubtless, you're admiring our great works, babe. Oh. You see, we are now food critics. Zoe's hired me for her magazine, totally a real food magazine. Hmm. The problem is real. It's an honor to have you on board, your highness. Zoe holds up a bunch of papers stapled together with doodles of in crayon that seem to be eldritch runes, which uh, some uh, ugly uh, scratch and sniff stickers. <laughs> <on top. laughs> if you are quiet and subservient, you may watch us in our quest to be the best food critics ever. I was a little hesitant about uh, founding this legitimate magazine. Uh, since I'm new to eating things other than minds and souls. She's blushing. <laughs> and I usually have my eating Still the dumbest thing I do me, ever. Still but the dumbest thing ever. then Zoe and I realized we were the absolute best food critics according to our test audience. Each other? Which was compromised in oh. Miranda's food serves. Now watch us create culinary criticism magic. First, macaroni and cheese. This food item contains both macaroni and cheese, and therefore deserves <laughs> five stars for this accurate description. Next, couscous with vegetables. I wish that's how all food were critic. Yeah, I'm right. glad you had to read that. <laughs> Never tried me. it in the <laughs> small to even register in my many mouths. I won't try it either, but the name sounds very, very fancy. So, five stars. Here is this microwave. <laughs> ah, yes. It's very shiny and very cube-shaped, which are both good qualities for food. Five oh. stars. Oh. <clears throat> okay. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I enjoyed that one. Uh, here are some french fries. They don't seem to be particularly French. That's because they got renamed Freedom Fries. But they don't seem particularly <laughs> un-French either. <laughs> oh dear, how will we ever determine their oh Frenchosity? Frenchosity. <laughs> Easy. That's your special. Yeah, hold on, before you click. Don't read oh. it. If one of the options is literally just to put a French flag in it, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. <laughs> Zoe, you should give the French fries a French kiss worthy of the most epic French fictions to check how good they are at French kissing and therefore calculate their Frenchosity. Miranda, 
Obviously, they're most qualified to determine this. The only way to establish French chastity is to actually go to France. Just send an eating surf over to check it out. Well, I mean, one. You want to see Zoe make out with a fry? She has so many mounds to French kiss with. <laughs> I yes. How did you know about my French-themed spooky high AU? Les Monstrables. Les Monstrables. Shut up. Les Monstrables. Yeah, that one. Got mouth. You are truly my number one fan, aren't you, Bay? Uh, yes. Well, if number one fan, she means trying to get in her tentacles on prom night, then sure. God, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is great. If you find them to be sufficiently good kissers, my Eldritch compatriot, I will join you in this endeavor. Oh. It will be uh, yes. good practice for me when my prince comes along, provided I am not in an enchanted slumber at the time. I really feel like people shouldn't be kissing people in any kind of slumber, but that's a separate issue, so oh. I'm just gonna make out with the fried potato now. <laughs> <laughs> she does! She's so disappointed. But that's that's great, though, because like all the sleeping elder gods and everything, that's great. Yeah. Yes, I found that kiss to be both French and fried. <laughs> Five stars! Spoiler alert! Five you stars! Back. And babe, maybe you and I could work on other kissing adventures sometime. We could, uh, French kiss some, uh, what do they eat in France? Frogs? <laughs> oh my god. Heck yeah! And you do. It's called giving butterfly kisses to honey roasted butterflies to determine their butterfly factor. What? Well, I, um... Sure? Huh. I never thought of... Five, five stars! stars. <laughs> um, sure. Fine, uh, sure. destroyed, Karg. No, goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> you approach Scott and Calculester, sitting at a table conveniently located near a power outlet. Calculester is charging. Scott is confused. That's... Both of those sound accurate. Uh, what? What do you mean? You don't eat, bro! If you don't eat, how are you ever gonna get swole? Premise invalid. I am a robot. Robots do not get swole. Swelling in robots is always an extremely bad sign. No, no eating? No getting swole? How do you live, bro? Technically, I do not oh, live. I'm sad. It's one of my greatest sources of sadness. Ah, oh, don't be sad, buddy. I know it'll cheer you up. Some pizza. Pizza always no, cheers no, me up. No, Scott. <laughs> Invalid suggestion. Pizza is a food which I do not eat. We're going to create pizza electricity. To consume organic material, only electricity. But, 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 but. We've He's so broken. confused. <laughs> We've broken, Scott. You're actually pretty worried that Scott's head is going to explode. <laughs> and then you're going to have to clean it up. Better find a way to satisfy his curiosity. Scott, electricity is the coolest and most energetic thing to eat. Have oh, you ever tried no. eating a lightning? A lightning. A lightning. <laughs> Calculator, when you say I am not designed to consume organic material, all I hear is that you're not trying hard enough. I don't want to tell Scott to eat lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you, you but gave like, him cocaine in the last time we played. I don't know which one is uh, Calculester, well, but I think it's the top one. It is the top one, I'm sure. The top one, I definitely. think so. Nice. L lightning? That loud, bright thing that comes out of the sky? I hate lightning! Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> Negative, Scott. That loud thing is called thunder. Wow, that's the best dog response, though. Oh, what's lightning then? The bright thing that comes out of the sky, but without the noise. Great. Oh, wow. Noise-free lightning? Sounds like a, a fat-free protein shake. Sounds so energetic. I'll go, uh, I'll go eat some right now. Please do not. <laughs> <laughs> that face, too. <laughs> But it's too late. Scott is already running around outside with his mouth open, staring at the sky. Good thing it's not raining or anything. 
Now you get to enjoy some alone time with Kaki Lester. All right. Well, you know we have to meet them. Yup. Whoa, you expect the couple to want to be left alone at lunch, oh. but they actually seem really happy to see you. Hello, that's a parasite. That's loser. a parasite. That's. Yep. Okay. It's a parasite on a yeti thing. What? It's a fungus parasite on a yeti thing. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, card. Go for it. Um. Oh, good, Carglin. We could use a little bit of help. <laughs> Kate and I spent all of third period gazing longingly into each other's eyes in the bathroom mirror, and now his eyeballs are all dried out. What? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Would you mind putting some drops in his eyes? His oh, no, wait, that's still coming wait, from... Wait, is it? Would you mind putting some drops in his eyes? His coordination isn't so great ever since I accidentally assimilated some of the nerve endings in his shoulders. Uh. I feel like that was actually talking coming from the creature, though, and it's yeah, so it talking. Was, yeah. The the, the mushroom the the parasite like is assimilated his the, body. Can I leave yeah. yet? Can I just <laughs> That's walk why his away? His eyes look like he's dead. <laughs> Happy to help. You take the bottle of eye drops out of the couple's shared backpack and. Gently drip a few drops into Tate's vacant, lifeless eyes. Wait, yeah. Oh, jeez. Slowly, painfully, he lifts one arm to give you a limp thumbs up. So do we do different voices or just keep going the one? Because it would be complicated with two. I mean, oh, it shows you the pictures of who's actually talking. Yeah, but I mean, then we have to have two people talk. Oh, you can just do one. I don't care. Oh, I love seeing him happy. Thank you so much. I can't let a good deed go unrewarded, so how about a free disease? No. I'm intoxicated! <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, oh, no. Uh, toxic... I can produce all kinds of funky, uh, wacky spores. They're toxic, but in a funny way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, why not? I'd rather lick some of your weird mushrooms if that's okay. <laughs> what are those answers? Oh, what are... oh man. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I feel like the mushrooms if have a higher that, chance okay. of killing me, though. I think the top one's boldness, and I think that one's fun. Whoa! Your relationship material. Well, of course, I would have offered, but most people don't want to lick them because they assume they're toxic or something. And I mean, they are, but I'm made out of them and I'm fine, so I don't know what everyone's so worried about. You don't either, you beautiful fucking moron. You lick the mushrooms. Your tongue turns purple, grows eyes and a mouth, and develops a cool personality. Congratulations, you probably disturb you're probably disturbingly good oh, at God. oral sex now. You gain plus four fun. I never want to talk to this character again. <laughs> I'm not sure if I do or not, like I, I don't know. Activity I... Mushroom licking. Spore intaking. Uh, I drop administering. <laughs> Administration. Okay. Uh, how silly it would be if the next hottest dance move among millennials <laughs> is based on mimicking this activity. I definitely, definitely like Yours the mushroom is looking. Mushroom looking is just a nightclub. Yeah. Both you and mine, like both of ours, are like drug <laughs> Basically. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and like, cars is like actually like weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's fair. Cause it's just them like putting eye drops in each other's eyes. You're like, what are you doing? No, you he's guys, mimicking. You're not actually. You're, doing yeah, you're just mimicking. mimicking. So your hands are so just going up. 
So with oh, me, no. it's like holding a little, like mimicking holding a thing in your hand, like licking the air. Cards is like putting eye drops, like squeezing something over somebody else's eyes or something. And yours is just like excessive, like, like snorting. Breathing intaking. <laughs> I think we can just kind of random this one. They're all, they're all dumb. I think this yeah, one's... Yeah, go for it. This one's a good random one. Excessive breathing. I don't think we should random anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's rigged. Like sports. Rigged is good, right? Can't um, spell win without sure. rigged. <laughs> it's my class now. That day, your teacher delivered an amazing and creative performance that blows your mind. Uh, at Sensation on YouTube, they get 10 coolness, but they're not trying to roommate classmates. Or is he? Hope not. Spells game plus two smarts. Hooray! It's such a, such a sensation you were sleeping. Right? You notice right. Calculester ta taking one of his favorite succulents out for a walk. Man, I really like Calculester. He's just a nice he's robot. Un yeah, he's just a nice oh, wolf no. pack. Oh, you know what you gotta do, Karg? Suddenly, the wolf pack comes jogging around the corner. So you just crash into him. He's doing the same voice as Damien, then? <laughs> that was a noise. Yeah, apparently. Hey, watch where you're going, nerd! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Watch where you're going, nerd! <laughs> Move, nerd! Get out the way! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I like it. I am terribly sorry. I was simply taking my succulent out for its daily walk. Y I know yep. that succulents are do not require walks, but I believe they appreciate them. What a good- I just love him. What a new- What? Sorry, bro. I wasn't listening. I was too distracted by your lack of facial hair. But you, you don't. I'm sorry. I mean, look at you two. When's the last time you shave? Never. Are you talking to me in my plant? If so, there is a simple explanation for our lack of facial hair. I myself am a robot and my succulent is a succulent. Neither succulents nor robots grow facial hair. <laughs> I've got a succulent too, if you know what I mean. It's long and hard and oh, oh, jeez, oh, I did not mean to do that. Party well. foul, bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, nice, bro. Good joke. <laughs> Bump my fist with your fist, bro. Oh, you like succulents? Oh, he's so too. happy. Can I see? Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> 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 that face. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll just be getting back to my walk then. No way. Not so fast, bro. We're not about to let your unmanly facial hair lacking asses just wander around our halls. We demand you grow a beard. Now, man, bullying in high school has gotten so weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly not going to happen, but maybe you can find another way to convince the wolf pack that Calculester is manly enough to walk these halls with show him your succulent. <laughs> <laughs> sure, facial hair is manly. But you know what's even manlier? A face made entirely of glass and metal. Calculator uh, does yes. have facial hair. He doesn't carry it with him all the time. Duh. Uh. Uh. The top one's either creativity or... I think the bottom one's charm. Yeah. Go! Loser. Never mind, Ooh. I suck. Well, duh, neither do we. You think this is all our facial hair? We're werewolves, dumbass. Watch this. 
before your eyes, the humanoid forms of the wolf pack warp and change. Muscle, muscles writhe beneath their skin. Claws sprout from bleeding fingertips and hair. Hair grows everywhere. In a frenzy, the newly transformed werewolves maul several students, but even worse... <laughs> Stop making him do that! Stop! You're not allowed! No! Do not pee on my plants! It is not your territory, and I have already watered it today. But it's too late. Calculester's plan is critically overwatered, and you are critically mauled. It was two boldness and one charm. Ah, I had 17 boldness at one point. 17. All right. <laughs> Stop making him scream like that. <laughs> I can't. My throat hurts. Um. Well. Money will keep me company when I can't get the calculator to go out with me. Just get an item. Free win. Super Benito Bros. Start kicker. You see lots of people with, you know, fake promises. Nice. You gain tons of money, but it goes to cost, so I keep two. And it looks like Calculester is off by himself again, working on his virtual reality. You don't know how he's able to shirk so many school responsibilities to work on this project. And, again, you shirk responsibilities all the time to try and fuck your classmates, so I mean... As you approach, you notice the air around him is several degrees warmer than usual. He must be pretty worried about something. Hello, friend. Parglin. I am worried about something. Does that have to do with the ravioli? <laughs> Nailed it. All was progressing well enough into my virtual world. Intelligent life evolved, developed language and society and kept senseless violence within standard parameters. Within <laughs> standard parameters. It was all going so well. In fact, I decided to enter the reality myself to conduct a UX poll. What is a UX poll? Uh, I don't know. Instead of providing me useful feedback, <laughs> however, the citizens of my reality provided me with dead goats. Oh, was it Gord? Apparently, as their creator, I command a certain unanticipated level of awe and respect. I am embarrassingly long enough a god to them now. They have since designated the day of my appearance as a holy day, constructed an enormous and upsettingly phallic <laughs> tower on the spot, and are currently murdering each other for control of that said tower. Oh, is this like... Shin Megami Tensai with the Tower Babylon or some nonsense? Senseless violence have spikes well outside the acceptable range. <clears throat> and now, instead of imp uh, improving their virtual society, the people are spending all their time putting my face on various merchandise and co-opting the popular music genres to sing my praise. Praises. Oh. Uh. I must devise a way to cure them of this unhealthy obsession. But when I tried telling them to stop, all it did was spark a holy war. What do I do? You're screwed. Involve involve your highest rank worshippers in a controversial scandal with minors. Uh, no. <laughs> Produce a little grumpy. Uh. Yeah. Um. I like Creativity you. or charm or boldness is the top one. Yeah, that's a good crapshoot. Critical levels of awesomeness detected. Yes. Smartness. Hmm. Interesting. A small, adorable construct that will argue for my non-existence. However, or I worry, however, that one simply cannot be enough. Oh, about fifty thousand. Hey, it's not your reality. You tell Cal to go ahead. You enter Calculester's reality to watch them work their magic. Jeez. There they go, subverting the very concept of religion as a fiction manufactured by weaker men. Look, 
now they appear to be arguing against the very concepts of humility and submission. This can only end poorly. I am happy. <laughs> and look how quickly they can strip all the flesh off a of gazelle. Nature truly is astonishing. Now, hold on. <laughs> now, that last one, hold up. <laughs> Wait. You're not, you're not sure you'll be ever you'll ever get the image of a thousand of them swarming all over a gazelle carcass out of your head. But hey, that's what alcohol is for. For helping Cal fake his own death, you gain plus two creative creativity and boldness. I feel like I'm missing Let's some sort this. of Nietzsche reference. Probably. Who that is really? He's a well-known writer. Uh, writer, I think, philosopher, dude. Did I assume argued against the existence of God? Now you'd think that, right? Probably true. I don't know. <laughs> and something about... Gazelle carcasses? Yeah. Gazelle carcasses. <laughs> uh, that day when we're rehearsing for a class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. Ugh. For once, it seems you aren't getting to the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, uh, you're having trouble conveying your point in a discussion, so you decide to convey it through music. You start singing, and suddenly everyone else joins you in the kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people who you're arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. Even plus your creativity. Yay! We're all in this together. Yes, we are. Uh, you spot Zoe and say hello. She seems to be in a pretty good mood. Oh, hey. Hey, Bay. Sorry about running running out on you before. I was just overwhelmed by all that cold stuff. Speaking of them, they're actually been a lot better lately. They're still pretty clueless, but at least they haven't given me any more dead animals. I hope they're not coming back. Please, oh god. Oh man. Oh no. What's gone into them? Well, better not mess with success. Zoe out. Anyway, you gotta go study oh, for my ambush Oh, they got she leaves. Later. As Zoe leaves, no. you hold to speak around a corner. When it's just gone, they sheepishly approach you. Oh, God. Sheepishly, Welcome not code. to the end of uh, the world. Hey, hey bae. Praise, praise be to you, you for your, your unholy, unholy wisdom, wisdom and stuff. 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 We, were, we, were, oh, just we were just wondering. Did, did, did Zoe, Zoe say, say anything, anything about, about us? Does, does she, she like all, like all the dead ghosts, ghosts we're not, we're not giving, not her? giving her? Are, are we using the right, the right pronouns? pronouns? Oh. We, we just... We, we all, all love her, her so, much, so much, and we and want we to want make to sure she's as happy, happy or, unhappy or unhappy or ruthlessly, or ruthlessly insane, insane as she, she can possibly, can possibly be. be. I love I her love the, the most, most of all. I love her the most of all. Right. <laughs> who, who said, said that? that? Whoever, Whoever you, you are, are, you I can't possibly, possibly love her more, love than, I do. more than I do. I'm, I'm the, the one, one standing, standing at the front. Oh. oh. I was, I was standing in the front the last, last time. time. We, we all look the same because, because we're, we're all wearing all masks. masks. Silence. silence. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't silence, silence me. me. You're, You're not, not my, my grandmaster. grandmaster. Well, 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 well. Uh, someone, someone is right. right. I, I mean, mean, we, we have, have a grandmaster, grandmaster don't, don't we? we? What kind, what kind of, of cult would we be without, without a grandmaster? grandmaster? I can see where this is going. Gods. 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 We don't, we don't do, do we? Do we? Well, well, that won't that do. Won't do. Please, Bay, grace, grace us, us with, with your wisdom. wisdom. How, How shall we choose our grandmaster? Master. Uh, you need to learn to think like your mistress. I'm a high school student for a day, and the answer will be obvious to you. Uh, the title of Grandmaster should go to whoever can compose the best theme song oh, no. scene to Zoe every morning, as if it's a new episode <laughs> of her life. She will hate that. I like the top one. I really like the top one. Just all these cultists just going to high school and <laughs> trying to, try to be high schoolers. So, uh, damn it! 
become a high school student, but then that would be incredibly. No, no, no. If this, if this is what Zoe's prophet suggests, suggests then it, it must, must be done. done. Comrades, Comrades, bring, bring forth, forth the thousand, thousand needles. needles. What does this have to do with? Wait, needles? Uh, <laughs> it, it is Zoe's will, will that, that we become one high school student. High school student. Let the union of the flesh, the flesh begin. begin. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. This is not at all. And yet, each <laughs> cannot look away as a cult to sew their pale flesh together. What? <laughs> the Bing, what? Do you have a pencil sharpener? My... Oh, what are they doing now? <laughs> we, we are a high school student! student. <laughs> Did the meat scream the mutilated cult to sue you? <laughs> we, we care about, about good grades and the status, and the status of, of our, our facial, facial skin! skin. Uh, you think you got a good batch of cultists, and then they go and sell their bodies to each other to become a high school student. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh, Are I'm you not, not pleased, not mistress? Mistress! <laughs> I'm the quivering Flesh and bone. I do love the every time, though. <laughs> every oh. time. Of course I'm not pleased. This is so embarrassing. You're like the worst cultist ever. So he storms off. Looks like you're the worst prophet ever. Uh, oh man! Nice and one plus one. Oh no! I wanted that ending. No. I I I just. I love how we've been doing this, and they're like, and now they speak in unison. Damn. <laughs> Let's do this. Why am I this again? Uh, you get a text message from Calculester. Comes in and he emerges from your phone and appears in your room. What the fuck? Sorry to burst on you like this. Uh, friend Bay, but I am experiencing a romantic dilemma. Fair enough. It's not like you respect your classmates. Pro oh, did I skip something? No. Uh, you asked him what's up. I am currently experiencing two parallel loves. One for your classmate, Skiles. Another for equally strong love for Karglin. You tell him to smooch both of them. That's what you would do. Wow. <laughs> Game understands. I would be delighted. Unfortunately, I came factory equipped with a tamper-proof monogamy module. Uh, just one or the other. Wow, that's a terrible module. <laughs> you are familiar with the intimate details of their lives. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Please assist me. Which one of your friends has more experience loving a machine? Well, two things. One, I believe... I'm going for a secret ending with him. In my path, I think. Oh, with the virtual reality. With the virtual reality, yeah. Dang. Two, you know me. I love my computer and my real life I've virtual blown reality. Many cartridges. <laughs> he has blown always. many cartridges. <laughs> many, you many. You always eject your pen drives before unplugging them. It's all about safety and protection. It's true, though. I've actually had footage. To be fair, I'm pretty sure Carlin has the most smarts if that's what the thing is, but I don't know. No, this one's just like pick someone who gets like a boost. Also, go for I'm the pretty sure ending. Karg's the only person who can actually win with him. I cannot. I have like no smarter creativity. I'm trying but failing. Yeah, but you've at least gotten points at like um, lunches and stuff. That's fair. So is he. We, we each did one. We each did one lunch. Yes. Please! Secret ending! Virtual reality! Uh, do it. Do it for card. I mean... He's all about safety and protection, what can I say? Yes! You truly if I possess a heart, it would be formed by this. I am all about protection. Did you know that one of my first romantic partners was a pen drive? As er, a student at your school, which would be view, pornography, <laughs> and low library. And so plug a pen drive full of illicit media into me. The feeling of commuting with that tiny creature was only rivaled by the devastating sensation of having him ripped from me when the librarian came by. 
I am oh, deeply no. moved to learn that Cargo <laughs> shares my passion well, for I bet he did. I, <laughs> Gently disconnecting <laughs> pen drives. I bet he did that terrifying screech as it was Probably. ripped from his body. Probably. Oh, just Monica. <laughs> Remember, it's not the size that matters, but how you eject it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oof. Uh, another quote I should steal. Now, if you excuse me, I am off to romance your friend based on your recommendation. The calculation <laughs> throws jets and flies through your window. He must be pretty excited. <laughs> Game plus oh, too fun. Oh, man. King grow jets, but not facial hair. 